Hello all of you amazing viewers and welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. By the end of today's video you will know everything that there currently is available to know about the new Mid Journey update and I'm not talking about the small little ones, although we will discuss those. I'm talking about that big Mid Journey update that has the potential to compete with Dolly 2 at a potentially cheaper price no less. Anyways, as you subscribers know, I love to open up with an interesting AI generation and possibly a little bit of AI news. Well, as you guys can see, today's generation is a female blobfish with long, beautiful eyelashes relaxing on a desert rock. You guys know I'm a sucker for those silly prompts, and this is definitely one of those. Now let me ask you guys a question, is this blobfish beautiful? Would you take her out on a date? Let me know down in the comments below. In all seriousness though, I really love interesting prompts like this, combining two separate elements that shouldn't really be combined normally. And that's sort of what this is, we have the ugly disgusting blobfish, and then we're taking beautiful human features and combining it, and seeing what the AI can do with it. And I think that Dolly 2 definitely nailed this one. We got the beautiful eyelashes, the supple lips, and the, uh, the very blobfish exterior. And here comes the typical Reddit comments. Reddit, I am very disappointed in you. If you saw my second to last video, you guys know that Dolly 2 is now inviting up to a million people into its new beta program where you can pay for how many prompts you generate. And of course, there's a bunch of controversy about this. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about my personal opinion in that video and you guys express your opinions in the comments on, you know, the pricing of Dolly 2. But one thing that we aren't really talking a lot about is the quality of Dolly 2. It seems to actually be going down according to some cases. Personally, I've noticed it where generations just aren't as accurate as they used to be. And a lot of times you're just getting random like stock images. They seem to have either change some sort of settings around, or possibly when they added the diversity filter onto Dolly 2, maybe more inaccurate generations, such as this example, are a side effect where it's trying to generate real photos for some reason. While this is still a rumor floating around, it is definitely possible that something has changed in the accuracy of Dolly 2. For this Dolly 2 user, this was supposed to be an award-winning impressionist painting of a mixing bowl full of pickled cucumbers and socks on a stone table at sunset. Nevertheless, we just get pictures of the sky, a tablet, and some grass, which is very inaccurate, not even slightly close, so something's not right there. Some people on Reddit say they're clearly having some bugs right now since pricing has rolled out. I noticed that before the pricing rolled out, though, personally, they're saying caching slash routing issues, and yeah, there's a whole lot of discussion on whether this is even a real problem or people are just noticing it more. Personally, I've definitely noticed the quality has diminished and the accuracy just a little bit, at least. So now moving into Mid Journey. As you guys know, Mid Journey is one of the most popular text-to-image generators generators out there only available currently through Discord, but basically it starts as a free trial when you join the Discord, and then there are two payment plans after that, and Midjourney is constantly sort of being updated, and recently they've just updated into some new features. As you can see, they're entering alpha testing of their new algorithm. They're saying some things are going to break. There's a new upscaler now for upscaling images, and this is now the new default when you generate with Midjourney. And now there's actually two new arguments, quote unquote, for the new algorithm. By the way, guys, I'd like to point out that this new algorithm is completely separate from the big mid journey update that's coming. So now there is a stylized and quality argument. So the stylization obviously sets how stylized the images are, maybe how artistic they are, which is actually something that mid journey is known and appreciated for. And now there's a new quality setting. And this actually allows the algorithm to have more or less time to generate an image. You can actually now reduce the cost to generate images at the, the cost of quality. So looking over here, we can see a few different options. So you can basically turn stylization entirely off and there's a few middle options for how stylized you want your image to be and you can even go for a max option which is hands off the wheels. Who knows what will happen? So I'm gonna have some fun messing around with this today for sure. And with quality, we have a low quality option. These are sort of rough drafts or sketches. This is four times faster and cheaper. You can even go less, two times faster slash cheaper, default value of one. Uh, you can then start increasing it so it's two times slower and two times the price, two minutes per image. Apparently, though, this is going to provide you with more detailed results and with quality up to five. This is experimental, might be more creative or detailed, or it also might be worst. 
and it's five minutes to generate per image, which is crazy. And they say this is a huge change in their system. And they say they're going to, you know, change and update things in the next one to three weeks. So all this is very exciting, but it's really not what Midjourney has cooking up in the back system. So I've spoken to a few different people, some people who aren't affiliated with Midjourney and some people who are affiliated with Midjourney. But either way, we've known this for a while now. There is a huge Midjourney update coming, and I have some information on that for sure. Before that, though, I think we should take a quick look at the new mid journey update so all these images that you see right here are actually part of the new algorithm just with base quality settings so this algorithm is already you know more powerful better at generating faces for sure than the old algorithm as it seems from this but then we move up into the new higher quality one this is quality two and it honestly seems at least from my observation that this new uh, quality two setting is giving us more creativity, maybe a little bit more coherency, but not much more coherency, you know? Like, Dolly 2 has this coherency aspect to it that Midjourney still does not have, but the creativity with Midjourney really seems to be its strong point. We're getting a lot of creativity out of these images and maybe a little bit more coherency. And moving up to quality 5, um, you know, things start to get a little bit crazy here. Some of these generations I've noticed are actually just worse than probably either of these, um, but there are some that are better. They're definitely all more detailed, that's for sure. But yeah, nevertheless, it's interesting that now we have the ability to actually play around with these and uh, see if we're getting better images. And all these prompts, I believe, are exactly the same. So we can see, like, definitely some of them are improving, at least with two. I think almost all of them improve, but with five, some of them are either really good or completely ruined um, by the, the different settings here. So moving into what we know for sure about the new mid-journey model that's going to come out it's sort of known around the community as the four billion model because it's supposed to be you know around the size of dolly 2 around the quality of dolly 2 that's what everyone's rumoring about right we can't really know what the quality is going to be for sure right now right there's just no way to know what it looks like only the mid-journey devs know the current quality of this new model but what we know for sure is a new mid-journey model is definitely coming there are rumors on the parameter size which i will get into but you have to keep in mind that those are rumors when i share that information but apparently all of the new images for this new model are going to be more curated to provide better results and i guess that's sort of where the efficiency comes in and where mid-journey is trying to get extra efficiency out of this new text to image generator apparently it's highly likely that this new mid-journey model is going to be more likely a sequel to mid-journey rather than an update so to speak because of how different it's going to look mid-journey sort of has this um aesthetic to it that's very recognizable oftentimes when i see one i'm like yeah that's definitely a mid-journey generation they all sort of have this this aesthetic to them right there's also no saying how long it's actually going to take to develop this new larger more coherent model of mid-journey and that's sort of why you're not really hearing about uh, this new update in the servers anymore apparently though pretty soon the current version of mid-journey will be able to be invited into other servers that's something that's really interesting so it won't just be in the mid-journey server where you can use mid-journey maybe one day in my discord server which you can by the way, join with the link in the description below, actually be able to have Midjourney as a part of the server. I think that'd be really interesting. So I'd like to point out that this next information is all rumor. None of this is confirmed, so take it with a grain of salt. So for this new update or this new version of Midjourney, this sequel, so to speak, it's rumored to be trained on about 4 billion images, and the parameter count is rumored to be around 2 billion. But remember, this is hopefully with a higher efficiency than Dolly 2, so you can expect, hopefully, a similar coherency level uh, to Dolly 2, certainly higher, of course, than the current mid-journey. It's also to be noted that training is equally as important as the data set itself, so I think mid-journey really is now sort of taking a high focus on making sure the model is trained correctly. And this new mid-journey availability is rumored to be within the next few months or so. And in terms of the quality of this new model, no comment was provided. I'm not really going to mention where this source is coming from, but things could have changed uh, since this source was sent over to me. So again, this is all taken with a grain of salt. It's all rumored, but I wanted to include this information because who knows, some of it could be true. 
but I, I really wanted to make sure you guys know that this doesn't mean that this information 100% is true, it just could be true. Now for the end of today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of messing around with this new mid-journey model. Alright, so this is technically with this new mid-journey model, just with the base settings here. I said photo of a chicken, and you can see how opinionated and stylized this new model is. This is definitely not just a boring photo of a chicken. I really want to see how good this new upscaler is too, so I'm going to upscale this second image. So now I'm going to turn this new stylization completely off and see if we get something a little bit less stylized right for this chicken because that is a very stylized photo of a chicken. And honestly, taking a look at the full final image, uh, I do think it looks pretty decent. It's definitely not as coherent, which is interesting to point out. I mean, it's vaguely a chicken bird like creature. It looks like a prehistoric chicken almost. It's pretty cool looking though, which I think was the whole goal. And now when we do just a basic photo of a chicken, I've noticed there's a little bit less detail in here and it still is sort of stylized you know which is mid journey's kind of thing so to speak now when you compare this to dolly 2 we get drastically different results where we always get these hyper realistic photos of chickens and it's really as simple as that i mean they definitely look like chickens here from dolly 2 now what happens if we do a stylized photo of a chicken will dolly 2 give us something more stylized and the answer is definitely yes. We get more stylized photos of the chicken. These are actually really cool. I like this one for sure. But yeah, this is a very dramatic stylized photo of a chicken from Dolly 2. Very interesting results. So now I'm going to try to do a photo of a chicken with the default stylization setting and the quality 2 setting. So keep in mind this costs two times as much and takes twice as long to generate, but hopefully gives us a higher quality image. And I'm not sure if this quality applies to the upscaling as well. I assume it does, but at least there is new upscaling we know for a fact. Okay, so with our higher quality setting, this is what we actually got for our four outputs. These ones are definitely not as coherent. This one, you can definitely tell there's a chicken's face. But I mean, interesting results overall. I, I think there definitely is a little bit more detail in there with the uh, higher quality settings. Now, one thing I do want to try, which is going to be a part of an upcoming video soon, is I'm going to take this generation with the new settings and put it through mid-journey and see if we can get a really high quality chicken image by combining mid-journey with dolly 2. So I will upload this mid-journey generation, then go to edit image, and we'll go ahead and take out any of the parts that we don't really like about this chicken, so the face really wasn't looking like a normal chicken's face. And then we'll say stylized photo of a chicken, and we will generate and see if uh, dolly 2 can enhance our mid-journey generation and add that little extra bit of coherency. All right, so here are the images that we got. They really aren't so bad, honestly. It's really trying its best. It's debatable whether this image is better than this one, because this is probably my favorite out of the dolly. And the rest of these, I mean, I guess they're all right, but they really don't match the body too well. This one's probably the best one out of all of them. But yeah, this one just sort of looks like a cool prehistoric chicken, not really a real chicken. This looks more like an actual real chicken chicken but very cool stuff nonetheless so leaving you with that thank you so much for watching i'm mavity productions please check out a few of my other videos and if you've been watching the mavity productions channel for a little bit and you aren't subscribed to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also if you want to become a part of the community make sure to check out our discord down below we are up to over a thousand members now in the mavity productions discord so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye